all the kiddos out there who love science. This is the perfect person to have on our show today. Raquel Nuno is joining me and she is a planetary scientist. You have a class coming up and you're partnering with Varsity Tutors. You want to talk about that? Yeah, so um, it's a class of Varsity Tutors where I'm going to be teaching everything I know about the moons in the solar system. Um, it's Kids learn, usually learn about the planets, but I wanted to bring something new to them, which is about all the really interesting places in the solar system that you don't hear about too often, like the moons. For example, like our own moon is super interesting, but then we have, for example, Io. Io is the most volcanically active place in the solar system, and I want to tell kids all about it. Wow. Okay. I'm intrigued already. <laughs> um, so then this class is something they can sign up for. Um, before we talk more about that though, let's talk about you. Cause you seem like a very big inspiration to anybody who loves science, any age really. Um, where did this love come from for you? It's definitely started with my, with my dad taking me out at night to look at the night sky that kind of he was an artist, he was not a scientist at all, so he had a completely different view of the world. Um, but he would point to an ant and tell me, hey, look how small that ant is compared to you. And then would point to the sky and tell me, look, Raquel, look how far away that star is. And it just made me think about my place in the universe. It made me so curious about what's out there and where I fit into all of it. Uh, so yeah, the, the fact that he instilled in me this sense of curiosity about the world is, is where it all stemmed from. And for, for your career and what you do on a, on a daily basis, can you kind of explain to the kids and the parents watching what it's like a day in the life with Raquel. <laughs> So I'm a planetary geologist, so that means that I study the, the rocks on other worlds. Uh, I'm involved in a couple of NASA missions. Uh, one of them is, uh, it's a spacecraft that's been orbiting the moon for about 10 years, 11 years now. It's called the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. And uh, I work on one of the instruments on there that's looking at the temperature of the surface. So a lot of my work is, is looking at data, uh, is a lot of computer programming, and then looking at pictures to try to understand, unravel what is happening on the surface of the moon without us being there. Uh, so that's a day in the life of, of, of a planetary geologist. What's one thing you've learned that you were just blown away by uh, in your career, in, in your education that you well, can share? In Mm -hmm. Well, in, in, uh, in our work with the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, something that we learned is actually that one of the coldest places in, in the solar system happens to be inside some craters on the moon. And these are permanently shattered craters that haven't seen sunlight for billions of years. So it's actually colder than the surface of Pluto, which is really far away from the sun, uh, and that these places are able to trap water ice. Uh, so that's the most interesting thing that I've learned in uh, that we've discovered in in my work how do you how do you know what's what because sometimes we're like is that a plane and then it's just going slower or if it's faster does it matter well uh, it, it is hard to tell so i tell everyone to download an astronomy app so there are these great apps that you can point up to the night to, to, if you see something you point up at it and it knows where you are and it'll tell you so if it's a spacecraft for example or if it's for example the international space station it'll tell you hey that's the space station going by mm -hmm. um or if it's meteorite it'll tell you hey there's meteorite uh meteor shower coming up so then you can be on the lookout for these events so i tell everyone download an astronomy app and it will help you guide you Oh, that's, I, I mean, I just loved working with Varsity Tutors. So many of their classes are free. I love that. I love how people having access to education and their educators are, are some of the best in the field. Some of the people that they've had on there, are just mind blowing that they can get uh, such amazing teachers. So that's been the best part is, is getting to be part of this group of, of educators who want to teach kids. Love, love that too. Anything you would like to share with the kids watching? Uh, maybe some final words of inspiration before you go. Well, there's so much to discover about the universe. There's still so many questions that are left answered and we need people to help us figure out the universe. So uh, there's there's questions and there's need for answers and we need more scientists to, to come help us answer these questions. <laughs>